Hey yo, so, welcome to today's topic, which is BlackRock. Uh, it's trending on X. Why is it trending? Not totally sure. Um, well, that's kind of a lie, kind of a not. Uh, because apparently Keir Starmer, he has decided to, he says in a post, I'm determined to deliver growth, create wealth, and put more money in people's pockets. Which is oddly enough why farmers are storming or protesting now, right? Because he wants to put more money in their pockets, which is why they're protesting. A little bit odd. This can only be achieved by working in partnership with leading businessmen or businesses like BlackRock to capitalize on the UK's position as a world-leading hub for investment. And, uh, nobody likes it. Nobody likes it, because apparently they're just going to buy out um, the, the farmer's lands from, uh, with this happening. Or, that's at least what is uh, suspected. I read this up here somewhere. Where did I read it? Where did I read it? Ah. This one right here. So, growth can only be achieved by working with BlackRock. Not family farms, not small businesses, not independent contractors, freelancers, or people working in the gig economy. Just by the government working with BlackRock and big businesses and no other way. Uh, word. <laughs> Can't say that on YouTube. Nobody likes it. Granted, nobody likes Keir Starmer. He's not. I don't know what the whole entire deal is with the UK right now. I just know there's a lot going on and a lot of people don't like him. I personally don't like him already because of that earlier video I made. I just don't vibe with him at all. But um, while I was under this uh, trending page, I saw a video down here. Uh, from Pabby G, who uh, reposted a video from RFK Jr. And we're going to look at that real now, because I watched this video, and I have some thoughts on it. But we're going to go through the whole entire thing, and hopefully YouTube won't take it down. This is a war that should have never happened. It's a war that Russians tried repeatedly to settle on terms that were very, very beneficial to Ukraine and us. The major thing they wanted was for us to keep NATO out of the Ukraine. The big military contractors want to add new countries to NATO all the time. Why? Because then that country has to conform its military purchases to NATO weapon specifications, which means certain companies, Northrop North Grumman, Raytheon, General Dynamics, Boeing, and Lockheed get a trapped market. Through March of 2022, we committed $113 billion. Just to give you an example, we could have built a home for almost every homeless person in this country. We then committed another $24 billion since then, two months ago, and now President Biden's asking for another $60 billion. But the big, big expenses are going to come after the war when we have to rebuild you all the things that we destroyed. Mitch McConnell was asked, can we really afford to spend 113 billion to Ukraine? He said, don't worry. It's not really going to Ukraine. It it's is going, going to, to American defense manufacturers. So he just admitted it's a money laundering scheme. And who do you think owns every one of those companies? BlackRock. Yeah, BlackRock. So Tim Scott during the Republican debate said, don't worry, it's not a gift to Ukraine, it's a loan. So raise your hand if you think that that loan's ever getting paid back. Yeah, of course it's not. So why do they call it a loan? Because if they call it a loan, they can impose loan conditions. And what are the loan conditions that we impose on? Number one, of extreme austerity program, so that if you're poor in Ukraine, you're going to be poor forever. Number two, most important, Ukraine has to put all of its government-owned assets up for sale to multinational corporations, including all of its agricultural land, the biggest single asset in Europe, in Ukraine. There's been a thousand years of war 
fought over that land is the richest farmland in the world. It's the breadbasket of Europe. 500,000 kids almost. Ukrainian kids have died to keep that land as part of Ukraine. They almost certainly didn't know about this loan condition. They've already sold 30% of it. The buyers were DuPont, Cargill, and Monsanto. Who do you think owns all of those companies? Yeah, BlackRock. And then in December, President Biden gave out the contract to rebuild Ukraine. And who do you think got that contract? BlackRock. So they're doing this right in front of us. They don't even care that we know anymore because they know that they can get away with it. And how do they know that? Because they have a strategy. And that strategy is an old, old strategy, which is they keep us at war with each other. They keep us hating on each other. They keep the Republicans and Democrats fighting each other, and black against white, and all these divisions that they sow. All right. Now, this is... RFK is American, so it's more about America, you know, because they bring up Biden, how much money they're sending over to the Ukraine for this conflict. I want to bring this back to Canada. Or actually just on a whole. I have an issue with this whole entire conflict. I have a massive problem with people who act as if we are fighting for Ukraine. Ukraine the people. Not Ukraine the country. Ukraine the people. Because what we are currently doing actively, both Canada and the US and many other countries under NATO, we are currently funding their... That's what we're doing. We're funding them to themselves. That's it. We're not funding to keep uh, Ukraine alive. We are funding the, the effort because we're just actively trying to get rid of Russia. I'm not a huge fan of Russia, uh, just in general. But right now, we are currently funding a fight just to get rid of them. That's all that is happening. We could have gotten it. We could have gotten many treaties by now, or agreements to not fight, or 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 such and stuff. But what is happening is we're just funding and funding and funding this war. And then recently, with Russia firing that ICBM into Ukraine, it's just more Ukrainians dying. That's all it is. We're not fighting this because we want Ukraine people to come to, to to live. We're fighting this so they can die. And it's f***ed up. And then we wonder why Russia had an issue with NATO. I can tell you why. Because they were they, they were just doing it so that eventually they could just topple over Russia. Obviously. I mean, they're also a superpower and, they, and Russia or and America or NATO really wants America to be the only superpower. That way we can do whatever, or they, well, they, I'm not American. They can do whatever the... The, the, the frick they want. And so there, we're just... We are currently paying for human meat shields. Right now. That is what we are doing in Ukraine. We are sending our taxes. Sending our funding. Sending whatever to Ukraine meat shields. We are not fighting for Ukraine the people anymore. We are fighting for Ukraine just the country alone. Do you think NATO cares if, if more Ukrainians die? Clearly not, because they're f continuing to fund a potential war. That's what is happening. And it's so blatantly obvious. They don't care about the people. They care about the country. Just the country in and of itself, not the people. And it, 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 is, it is unbelievably f***ed up. Unbelievably f***ed up. I hate it. I genuinely hate it. 
I don't know why. I cannot wait until Trump gets in. Gets in. I, I don't want this war to continue. I don't want it to turn into an actual problematic thing for the entire world. But NATO would just continue to push it and push it and push it. They don't care about the lives. They care about the, the, the just getting rid of Russia. That's all they care about. That's all they care about. All right. That's just about all I had to say on this. Tell me what you guys are thinking down below. Subscribe, like button, whatever. Yada yada. But, uh, yeah. Hope y'all have a good one. Later.